So hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to the session of PIB 247. In today's session guys, we are going to talk about the PIB news from 17th and 18th August 2022. And don't worry, jitna bhi backlog hai, everything will be covered. Content ban chuka hai sara, but I have kewal 17th or 18th August do din ka news is liya hai because there are a lot of news. Total 15 questions are there in today's session from these two days only. So that is why I have taken these two days. But don't you worry, everything will be covered before the Nabad examination. Well before the Nabad examination, I mean, you will get the time of revision. Alright. So let's begin with the session, guys. Yeah, but before we begin, uh, some people are asking for the government scheme session for the upcoming Nabad grade examination. So see, guys, if I take one session, uh, one government schemes in a day and three government scheme session in a week, right? Because I can't take more than that. So I think I would be able to cover six or seven schemes uh, till the NABAT examination. So that will be of no use for you, right? So we have to follow the new timetable, which we have given you a new timetable diya hai, das din hoga. We have to follow that now. And now government schemes ka jo marathon hai, that will be conducted for the enrolled students only because this time, uh, this time we have decided this because Every time kya hota hai ki enrolled students se complaint aati hai bahut ki aap humare to kuch de nahi rahe and we have to do them uh, we have to do for them because they have paid us right so we are committed towards them hamari jo priority hai pehle enrolled student ki honi chahiye aur uske baad aap logo ki honi chahiye i hope you guys understand this point because dekho agar kisi ne hame paise diye hain to hame uska pehle dhyan rakhna padega na that is very obvious right so don't you worry जितना हमने गवर्नमेंट स्कीम की जो प्लेलिस्ट है उसमें हम अगर देखेंगे तो वहां पे भी बहुत सारी स्कीम्स ऑलरेडी कवर्ड है बिकॉज़ जो लास्ट ईयर नबार्ड के एग्जाम हुआ था उसमें मैंने ऑलमोस्ट सारी गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स करा दी थी एंड ऑल द स्कीम्स इन न्यूज़ आर बीइंग कवर्ड थ्रू द पीआईबी सेशन सो आई बिलीव आपका जो गवर्नमेंट स्कीम का जो पोर्शन है दैट विल बी कवर्ड राइट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन गाइस बट बिफोर वी बिगिन एंड इफ यू वांट टू हैव द पीडीएफ ऑफ दिस सेशन यू कैन जॉइन द टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑलराइट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन very very important question and very very important news i can guarantee ki ye question aapke is news se question aapke exam mein definitely aane wala hai right so it is about the namaste project which has been launched recently so consider the following statements with respect to namaste project launched by ministry of social justice and empowerment and you have to identify the correct statement this we have discussed uh, very recently, kuch time pehle humne ye discuss kiya tha, but now the detailed guidelines have been released for the Namaste project and that, that is why we are discussing it again, right? So let's talk about this Namaste project. What is this Namaste by the way? So it is National Action Plan for Mechanized Sanitation Ecosystem, right? That is the full form. National Action Plan for Mechanized Sanitation Ecosystem is the full form of Namaste project. And aapko samajh mein aagya hoga from the name itself that it is for the sanitation worker. It is for the welfare of the sanitation work, right? It will be implemented. It is a joint initiative basically of two ministries which are Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Social Justice and Empowerment headed by Dr. Virendra Kumar and Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs headed by Dr. Hardeep Singh Puri, right? So do remember it is a joint initiative of these two ministries. Now talking about the objectives, what are the broader objective of this scheme? See, the welfare of sanitation worker is a very narrow objective. ठीक है तो हमें थोड़ा सा broader term में बात करनी पड़ेगी. So there are three main objective of this scheme. Number one is to ensure the safety and dignity, the safety and dignity of sanitation workers in urban India. Number one. Number two to create an ecosystem. That recognizes the contribution of sanitation workers in the sanitation infrastructure of the country, right? And number three, to provide sustainable livelihood and enhancing the occupational standards of the uh, sanitation workers across the country. And this third objective will be achieved by the uh, will be achieved through capacity building of the sanitation workers. All right. So that is the objective. These are the objective of this scheme. Moving ahead, launch year 2022 for a period of four years. That is from this financial year, financial year 23 to financial year 26, right? Total outlay will be rupees 360 crores. And the project, this Namaste scheme will be implemented in 500 cities across the country. Kitne cities may implement hoga? 500 cities may ye uh, implement kiya jayega. And implementing agency for this scheme is National Safai Karamchari Finance Development Corporation, right? 
डू रिमेंबर दिस नेशनल सफाई कर्मचारी फाइनेंशियल डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन इज दी इंप्लीमेंटिंग नोडल इज दी नोडल इंप्लीमेंटिंग एजेंसी फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम राइट मूविंग अहेड नाउ under this scheme for effective implementation all the cities in which this project will be implemented are divided into three categories number one are all the cities and towns with a population of more than 1 lakh with notified municipalities including the cantonment board right cantonment boards will also be included then all the capital cities towns of states and uts which are not included in point 1 right and finally 10 cities from hill states islands and tourist destination with a limit of maximum 1 from uh, one state ek state se keval ek hi city hoga right is third category <coughs> so these are the types of cities the what benefits will be provided to sanitation workers so number 1 all the sanitation workers all the sewer or septic tank workers and their family will be provided with the health insurance under the ayushman bharat yojana and then of course the objective also talks about the livelihood so for livelihood promotion loans will be provided to the sanitation worker to set up their own enterprise or any project right and also for and the capital subsidy will also be provided for buying any equipment right kisi equipment ka istemal karke agar sanitation work us sanitation worker ko karna hai then for that equipment right capital subsidy will be provided by the uh by these two ministries under this project all right moving ahead to the financial benefits that will be provided now talking about the rate of interest on loan rate of interest loan pe kitna hoga pehle agar hum uski baat kar de so for all the uh let's say i am a sanitation worker and i have to implement a project or i have to set up an enterprise and i want a loan uh from the banks or any other financial institution then i would go under the namaste project and if the project is up to rupees 1 lakh then the rate of interest that i would have to pay to the financial institution will be 5% but if the beneficiary is women then in that case uh, the rate of interest applicable will uh, would be 4% only while for the projects above rupees 1 lakh 6% flat rate of interest chahe men hai ya women hai right now talking about the capital subsidy अगर हम कैपिटल सब्सिडी की बात करें तो कैपिटल सब्सिडी विल बी प्रोवाइडेड फॉर परचेज ऑफ एनी इक्विपमेंट विच कैन बी विच मे बी यूज फॉर दी सैनिटेशन वर्क राइट इफ इट इज अ केस ऑफ इंडिविजुअल देन अप टू रुपीज फाइव लैख फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट विल बी बोर्न बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट वाइल इफ द प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट इज बिटवीन फाइव लैख टू फिफ्टीन लैख देन इन दैट केस रुपीज ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द रिमेनिंग प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट will be provided as capital subsidy right now what about the group projects so up to rupees 10 lakh per beneficiary with maximum project cost up to rupees 50 lakh right group individual agar group hai let's say there are five sanitation work uh, five sanitation workers who want to execute a or uh, execute a project or they want to buy an equipment together right so in that case they will be considered under this category for group projects so up to rupees 10 lakh Uh, per beneficiary with maximum project cost up to rupees 50 lakh in this case the capital subsidy is same as admissible to the individuals but the maximum capital subsidy that will be provided under this category will be rupees 3.75 lakh per beneficiary all right moving ahead to the interest subvention so there is a provision of interest subvention as well but the government pib mein inhone interest subvention kitna percent hai ye nahi bataya hai so there is a provision of interest subvention for the rate of interest charged by the banks and the financial institutions and the maximum repayment period of the loan would be 5 years would be 5 years for the project cost up to rupees 5 lakh 5 years for project cost up to rupees 5 lakh and up to 7 years for project costing above rupees 5 lakh with a moratorium of 6 months this 5 year and 7 years includes this moratorium period right including यहां पे लिखा हुआ है इंक्लूडिंग द मॉनिटोरियम पीरियड ऑफ अप टू सिक्स मंथ्स मे बी फाइव इयर्स फॉर प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्टिंग अप टू रुपीज फाइव लैक बट इट इट विल बी सेवन इयर्स फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट अब अब रुपीज फाइव लैक्स और राइट मूविंग अहेड टू द मॉनिटरिंग मैकेनिज्म ठीक है सो एट द नेशनल लेवल एट द स्टेट लेवल एंड एट द सिटी लेवल वी हैव अ नमस्ते मैनेजमेंट यूनिट और नमस्ते मॉनिटरिंग यूनिट जो भी आपको अच्छा लगे आप कह सकते हो नो प्रॉब्लम 
तो द नेशनल नमस्ते मैनेजमेंट यूनिट विल बी हेडेड बाय मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर इन द नेशनल सफाई कर्मचारी फाइनेंशियल डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन इट विल हैव द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ मॉनिटरिंग द स्कीम एट द नेशनल लेवल राइट इसका काम क्या होगा नेशनल लेवल पे स्कीम को मॉनिटर करना देन वी हैव अ स्टेट नमस्ते मैनेजमेंट यूनिट ऑफ कोर्स इट विल हैव द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू मॉनिटर द स्कीम एट द स्टेट लेवल एंड इट विल बी हेडेड बाय एनी पर्सन व्हिच इज डेजिग्नेटेड बाय द रिस्पेक्टिव स्टेट एंड देन सिटी नमस्ते मॉनिटरिंग यूनिट एंड इसका काम होगा सिटी लेवल पे स्कीम को मॉनिटर करना एंड इट विल बी हेडेड बाय अ नोडल ऑफिसर डेजिग्नेटेड बाय द रिस्पेक्टिव अर्बन लोकल बॉडी All right, guys. So I hope the scheme is clear, and definitely a question is coming in your upcoming NBAT examination. I don't have any doubt in this, right? So let's identify the correct statement now. It has been launched for ensuring safety and dignity of working women. Is that so? No. It has been launched for ensuring safety and dignity of the sanitation workers. So this statement is incorrect. Total outlay for the scheme is three sixty crores. Absolutely correct. For projects, for projects up to rupees one lakh. 5% rate of interest shall be levied on the loan bilkul sahi baat hai and city city namaste monitoring unit shall be headed by dm district magistrate no abhi humne padha any nodal officer uh, that is uh, designated by the urban local body dm is not fixed for this right so this is incorrect 2 and 3 will be the correct answer option c right option c is the correct answer Moving ahead to question number two, I hope the scheme is clear. If there is any doubt, so you can ask me in the comment section. The Union Cabinet has approved the opening up of traditional knowledge digital library (TKDL) database to users now besides patent offices. This library contains digital information about Indian system of medicines in five international languages. Which of the following is not one of the five languages? Very simple and very straightforward question. This digital library is in news because the Union Cabinet has approved. the extension uh union cabinet has approved the access of this library to users besides the patent office matlab before this the data from this library was accessible only to the patent offices i think 13 or 14 patent offices hamare desh mein unke liye ye data available tha but now this is the database is available to all right now this has been done to drive research and development and innovation based on india's value heritage across diverse fields talking about this digital library so remember it was established in the year 2001 jointly by csir which is of course council for scientific and industrial research csir works under the ministry of science and technology and department of indian systems of medicines and homeopathy which is which works under the ministry of ayush which works under the ministry of ayush so it is a joint uh, it was established jointly by these two organizations in the year 2001 do remember this now it contains information from existing literature related to indian systems of medicine like for example we have yoga yunani siddha sova rigpa etc and the information is available in digital format of course because it is a digital library in five international languages which are english french german Japanese and Spanish, right? So do remember these five languages as well. And now coming back to the question, the correct answer will be what? Which of the following is not one of the five languages? English, French, Japanese, and Spanish are there. Mandarin is not there. Option E will be the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number three, Ministry of Science and Technology, headed by Dr. Jitendra Singh. has announced a financial support of rupees 3.29 crores to kritsnam technologies which is a startup company incubated at which of the following iots to develop smart water management technology dhara smart flow meter so you just have to fill this gap you just have to tell that where this kritsnam technology which is a startup company where it was incubated in which iit it was incubated so it was incubated at iit kanpur right it was incubated at iit kanpur and the ministry of science and technology has announced financial support of rupees 3.29 crores to krishnam technology and this is a ranchi based startup right it was incubated at iit kanpur but it is ranchi based uh, startup right now this financial assistance will be provided for developing dhara smart flow meter now what is this dhara smart flow meter by the way so it is designed to track the water distribution this will track the water distribution in real time for applications such as drinking water supply kahan kitna pani ja raha hai 
ग्राउंड वाटर एक्सट्रैक्शन इंडस्ट्रियल वाटर यूसेज एंड क्रिशाइज एंड इरीगेशन और राइट एंड फॉर प्रोडक्शन एंड कमर्शलाइजेशन ऑफ धारा स्मार्ट फ्लो मीटर एंड एमओ यू हैज बीन साइन बिटवीन टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड दिस स्टार्टअप विच इज क्रिस्टनम टेक्नोलॉजी इज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड और राइट so that is all इससे ज्यादा पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है and therefore the correct answer is option B IIT Kanpur moving ahead to question number फोर how many cities across the country have declared themselves as Safai Mitra Surakshit शहर Safai Mitra Surakshit शहर Safai Mitra means sanitation worker Surakshit means protected शहर means city right so a city which provides protection to its sanitation worker is known as safai mitra surakshit shahar all right so for the very first time in the country 500 cities across india have announced themselves as the safai mitra surakshit shahar now what is meant by safai mitra surakshit shahar so it is a city it is a city which has achieved all the norms which are prescribed for safety working condition of the sanitation workers jo hamare sanitation workers hain उनकी सेफ्टी वर्किंग कंडीशंस के लिए जितने भी नॉर्म्स हैं अगर किसी सिटी ने उन नॉर्म्स को अचीव कर लिया है इंप्लीमेंट कर दिया है देन दैट सिटी इज नोन एज व्हाट सफाई मित्र सुरक्षित शहर राइट एंड आउट ऑफ दीज 500 सिटीज 128 आर अमृत 94 सिटीज आर लाइट हाउस सिटीज आउट ऑफ टोटल 100 लाइट हाउस सिटीज एंड द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स हैज द टारगेट दैट ऑल द सिटीज विल बिकम द सफाई मित्र सुरक्षित शहर बाय द यर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर बाई दर्च टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर दो हजार चौबीस मार्च तक जितने भी शहर है इंडिया के वो सारे सफाई मित्र सुरक्षित शहर होंगे दैट इज दारगेट ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर ओके सो दैट इज ऑल एंड देर फॉर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ई फाइव हंड्रेड बिकॉज दैट इज द नंबर ऑफ सिटीज विच हैव डिक्लेयर सफाई मित्र सुरक्षित शहर मूविंग एड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बट आई बिलीव आप सबको इसके बारे में ऑलरेडी पता होगा इफ यू हैव कवर्ड दूनियन बजट टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री कंसिडर दिटी स्कीम एंड यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट नाउ इट इज अ वेरी ओल्ड स्कीम इट वॉज लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी एज दी पार्ट ऑफ आत्मनिर्भर भारत पैकेज टू गिव अ बूस्ट टू द इंडस्ट्रीज टू गिव अ बूस्ट टू द एम एस एम ईज राइट सो वाई वी आर डिस्कसिंग इट राइट नाउ बिकॉज because the union cabinet has approved the enhancement in the limit of the corpus of this scheme ECL GS by 50000 crores and now the entire the total corpus has been increased from the current uh, 4.5 lakh crores to 5 lakh crores theek hai 50000 crore ki uski limit badha di gayi hai and of course this was announced by the honorable finance minister in the budget in this year's budget 2022 23 right now this additional amount will be earmarked only for the hospitality sector and the related sector theek hai ye keval hospitality aur related sectors ke liye uske alawa kisi sectors ko paisa nahi diya jayega right and this amount will be available till the validity of the scheme that is till 31st march 2023 right and the loans of about 3.67 lakh crores have been given under this particular scheme टिल फिफ्थ ऑफ अगस्त 2022. अब थोड़ा सा स्कीम के बारे में भी बात कर लेते हैं जिन लोगों ने पहले इसके बारे में नहीं सुना है सो इट वॉज लॉन्च इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एज पार्ट ऑफ आत्मनिर्भर भारत पैकेज टू गिव अ बूस्ट टू द बिजनेसेस इंक्लूडिंग एम एस एम ईज टू मीट देयर ऑपरेशनल लाइबिलिटीज एंड रिज्यूम बिजनेस इन व्यू ऑफ द डिस्ट्रेस कॉज बाई दी कोविड नाइनटीन पैंडमिक राइट इट इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस हेडेड बाई निर्मला सीतारमन एंड अंडर द स्कीम वट है 100% guarantees provided by the government of india in case of any uh, loss suffered by the businesses man lo ki let's say i have a business and i have taken a loan right let's say maine loan liya 1 uh, crore rupaye ka agar man lo ki mera 1 crore ka loan ye revive nahi ho paya mera business mein loss ho gaya so this 1 crore will be provided by the government of india to that financial institution from which i have taken this loan all right the interest rate under the scheme has been capped at 9.25% for the banks and financial institutions and it is 14% for non banking financial institutions all right so that is all about this news and now let's come back to the question you have to identify the correct statement the scheme was launched in 2020 by ministry of msme 
No. Ministry of Finance is the ministry, right? The limit has been extended by rupees 50,000 crore from 4.5 lakh crores to 5 lakh crores. Absolutely correct. The maximum interest rate that can be levied by the banks and financial institution is 9.25%. So this is also correct, which means, which means option B, only 2 and 3 will be the correct answer, guys. All right. I hope this is clear. Moving ahead to question number 6. Total 15 questions are there. How many destinations and destination ka matlab yaha pe kya hai? Airports, heliports and water aerodromes are targeted to be completed under Uran scheme by 2026. Now, why we are discussing about Uran scheme? Is it in news? Yes, it is in news because Pure Desh ka Aam Nagrik scheme or you can say RCS Uran scheme. Uran stands for Pure Desh ka Aam Nagrik and RCS stands for Regional Connectivity Scheme, right? So, it has completed five years of its success since the launch of its first flight do remember this its first flight was launched on 26th of april I, yes 27th of april 2017 sorry it is 27th not 26th 27th of april 2017 but do remember the scheme was launched in the year 2016 right so it has not completed five years since its launch it has completed five years since the first launch of flight first flight under this scheme, all right. Now it was launched in 2016 with the objective to fulfill the aspirations of the common people of India to fly in the aeroplane with the vision of Ure Desh Ka Aam Nagrik and the vision is being achieved with the, with the expansion of the aviation infrastructure uh, which includes airports or other infrastructure in the country, right. Now what are the achievements of this scheme till now? So there were 74 operational airports in the year 2014, but now the number has been increased to 141. All right, 68 underserved or unserved destinations have been connected now under this scheme with 425 new routes. Total number of new routes under this scheme till now are 425 and it has provided connectivity to uh, around uh, to 29 states and UTs of the country. And 220 destinations which includes water uh, airports heliports and water aerodromes will be connected will be completed by the year 2026 all right <coughs> and therefore the correct answer will be option c 220 moving ahead to question number seven the union cabinet has approved the rate of interest subvention on short-term agricultural loans under Modified interest subvention scheme. Very, very important question for the upcoming NAVAD examination. What is the rate of interest subvention approved by the cabinet? So, uh, for this modified interest subvention scheme, the union cabinet has approved the interest subvention. Now, what is this modified interest subvention scheme by the So, we will talk about the scheme and then we will news hai. So, remember under this scheme, under this scheme, short-term agriculture loan. Short term agriculture loan is provided to the farmer up to a maximum of rupees 3 lakh. Right? What is the maximum amount? 3 lakh to farmers engaged in agriculture and other allied activities. And what is the rate of interest uh, on which the loan is provided? So that is 7% per annum. Right? This 7% per annum includes the interest subvention. Matlab, 7 jo kisan hai, kisan ke liye jo rate of interest padega, that is 7%. And the interest subvention amount will be is being given by the government of India directly to the banks and the financial institution, right? And additional 3% subvention is given to the farmers on timely, timely repayment. So in case, so if a farmer is uh, repaying the repaying his loans timely, then uh, the effective rate of interest that would be applicable on the loans taken by that farmer will be 4% only. Keval 4% hoga agar wo timely repayment kar raha hai. All right. And now, the union cabinet has announced that the interest subvention will be 1.5% from financial year 22-23 to financial year 25. In the previous financial year, that is financial year 21-22, this interest subvention was 2%. So it has been decreased now. This time is more than this because banks and in financial institutions were a little bit bad. So now it is 1.5%, right? And this will, this support, this interest subvention support Iska jo total kharcha aega sarkar ke upar, that is rupees 34,856 crores. Alright. So, the correct answer guys will be what option E, 1.5%.
Moving ahead to question number 18. How many categories the National CSR Awards 2020 have been conferred by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs headed by Nirmala Sita Raman? Right. So National CSR Awards 2022 have been conferred by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and these awards recognize the contribution of the uh, companies, uh, recognize the contribution of companies in the society through their CSR activities, corporate social responsibilities. Now talking about this award, so the very first awards were given in the year 2019 and the awards uh, this year have been given in three categories which are Corporate Awards for Excellence in CSR, CSR Awards for CSR in Aspirational Districts or Difficult Terrains and CSR Awards for Contribution in National Priority Areas. Total number of winners, total number of winners in, the, in all the three categories combined is 20. However, there are, there were honorable mentions as well, which is total 70. Now you don't have to remember the names of the winners because these winners are kitane yaad karoge. So that is not required for the examination, right? So in how many categories? So it is three. The awards have been given in three categories, right? Moving ahead to question number nine. Which state has become the first Hargar Jal certified state in the country under the Jal Jeevan mission? Now, you must be wondering ki bhai Goa to pehli ban chuka tha first har ghar jal. Yes. So it has got the certification now. Right. Ek word aur juda hua hai certified. So Goa has become the first har ghar jal certified state. And Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diyu has become the first har ghar jal certified union territory under Jal Jeevan mission. Which means 100% households in these uh, in this state and UT have the uh, tap water connection, right? So talking about this news, to main aapko bata diya, Goa and Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu have become the first state and UT to have uh, the uh, to have the Har Ghar Jal certification, right? Under Jal Jeevan Mission, all the 2.63 lakh rural households of Goa and more than 85,000 households of Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu have access to portable water through tap connection under Jal Jeevan Mission, and of course, the Jal Jeevan Mission is being implemented by Ministry of Jal Shakti which has a target to provide tap water connection in all the rural areas by the year 2024, right? And Village Water and Sanitation Committee or Pani Samiti has been constituted in the 378 villages of Goa and 96 villages of uh, this UT and this uh, uh, committee is responsible for operation, maintenance and <coughs> repair of water supply infrastructure developed under the Har Ghar Jal Mission. Okay. So that is all. Itna hi padna hai and the correct answer is option A, Goa. Moving ahead to question number 10. And from now on, the questions are very straightforward, which do not uh, need any explanation. Right? Details are not required. So where has the Union Minister Amish Shah, Union Minister, Union Home Minister, and he is also the Minister of Cooperation, as you know, inaugurated the National Security Strategies Conference 2022. So it has been organized in New Delhi. Option D is the correct answer. Moving ahead, where has ESIC organized Chintan Shivir for discussion for discussing the expansion of ESIC benefits? And now, this may be told that ESIC ka benefits in all districts mein applicable. Hoga. I think it was before, but I don't know why they have told it. Okay, so it's not really important to know what they have told it. Just remember this Chintan Shivar, Shivir. For discussing the expansion of ESIC benefits was organized in Surajkund, which is in Haryana. And Surajkund is the place where every year uh, Art and Craft Mela, Art and Craft Fair is organized, right? Option C is the correct answer. In which state Asia's longest elevated wildlife corridor is being constructed? So this wildlife corridor, elevated wildlife corridor is being constructed on Delhi Dehradun Expressway. Delhi Dehradun Expressway. Now, what is the meaning of this? Delhi Dehradun Expressway. So, let's say this is, it is constructed on the Rajaji National Park, which is in, I think, Haridwar. Because in Haridwar, mein, Rajaji National Park. So, let's say this is Rajaji National Park. So, if you have a beach, you can see of course, it will disturb the wildlife of this area. So, what happens is that, if you have a beach, you can see the road, right? Ya to niche se bana di jati hai, upar se bana di jati hai, whatever is suitable. So, is case mein niche se ban rahi hai, tunnel type ki. So, this is known as what? Wildlife corridor, 
right without disturbing the wildlife and the without disturbing the nature there they are constructing the road right and yeah therefore the correct answer is what option a uttarakhand question number 13 hindustan petroleum corporation limited has launched its branded store in delhi the store will stock home utility products including food toiletries healthcare products bakery products groceries etc at competitive prices what name has been given to the store decent question it can be asked in your phase one so the name which has been given to these shops by hpcl is happy shop option a is the correct answer happy shop question number 14 with which of the following international organizations union cabinet has approved an mou to be signed between that international organization and yahan pe and hona chahiye and tfac which is technology information forecasting and assessment council india to support the international transport forum activities on the transport sector right very uh, direct question this international organization is organization of economic cooperation and development oecd which is headquartered in paris and in paris you will find the headquarter of unesco as well and fatf financial action task force as well and who is the newly appointed chairperson of fatf mr t raja kumar t raja kumar from singapore right he is not an indian or an or a pakistani or a bangladeshi he is from singapore do remember this oecd is the correct answer and the last question for today what is the target of indian textile exports till the year 2030 uh, i think it is a very good question it can be asked in your examination it is 100 billion dollar option a is the correct answer and do remember that the export of textile and apparels the export of textile and apparels the share if i talk about the share so it was 10.62% in financial year 2021-22 those are 21 22 mein jo textile and apparel ka export tha uska overall export mein jo share tha that was 10.62% in the financial year 2122 right and of course india is the largest producer of cotton and jute in the world option a is the correct answer so that's it for today's session guys i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching guys goodbye take care and god bless